without any question, the complexity is increasing. Um, the rate of change, um, both over over time, but also you know just during the day, during the hour, is changing. So that requires more and more uh, control systems. Human beings don't have the bandwidth to deal with all the the data issues that are coming. They they don't necessarily have the experience to to deal with all of the complex decisions. In today's dynamic data centers, there is an emerging gap between IT and facilities due to an overlap of responsibilities where none of them are experts and their actions will have an impact on the rest of the organization, both in terms of uptime, capital, and operational costs. Facilities has a macro view of the data center with focus on power, cooling, space, energy usage, in short, uptime. However, most have less of an understanding of what IT needs in terms of agility and dynamic computing. IT, on the other hand, has a micro view of the data center with focus on servers, virtual machines, applications, and all the other IT-related tasks, but often very little understanding of the rather complex power and cooling side of the data center. By combining these two individual great solutions and have them connected and interacting in real time, we suddenly have IT-aware facility plus facility-aware IT, which will bring tremendous new benefits to our shared customers. There are four main areas which the solution is going to address, which are automatic power capping and capacity utilization, auto discovery and inventory management, real-time data and CPU monitoring, and impact analysis. We will take a look at those in turn and show a demo of how they are solved. Automatic power capping and capacity utilization. Customers need to optimize utilization of the physical infrastructure capacity and eliminate the risk of inadvertently tripping breakers during uncontrollable power fluctuations, leading to hotspots. In short, customers need to reduce overprovisioning in order to better balance supply and demand and ensure availability. Let's look at how we find the optional location for a new piece of equipment, a Cisco UCS blade enclosure, for example. We open the product catalog, search for the Cisco equipment, so we just type in Cisco, we find the right blade enclosure and add it to our custom catalog. We can check the different attributes of this piece of equipment, the physical, the general, and power attributes. We can derate the nameplate power draw according to our policies and add the appropriate number of network ports, in this case 10, 1 gigabit ports. We press OK and locate the server for replacement. The application finds the optimal spot, in this case, rack number three, and let's add a number of blade enclosures to our system setup. Now we have hit a limit and cannot add more enclosures without tripping a breaker or risking a hotspot. To further ensure our availability, let's set a power capping policy for these servers. We simply open the appropriate dialog and click automatic power capping management, and we are all set. Auto Discovery and Inventory Management Customers are looking for instant, automatic documentation of where their equipment is, real-time status and history of equipment in order to comply with legal requirements and maintain full control over their data center. Let's see how we create the connection into the Cisco UCS Manager. We create a new external system and we select to connect to a Cisco UCS Manager. We type in the host name or IP address of the instance that we wish to connect to and we add the applicable user credentials. In this case, we log in as the administrator and enable automatic power management. As soon as we press OK, the Cisco UCS Manager is queried for system components and we can see that the chassis managed by the UCS Manager appears in the menu on the left. We associate these chassis to the chassis in the data center model and you see the user interface is automatically updated and populated with the blade servers installed in each Cisco UCS chassis. Real-time data and CPU monitoring. Customers need insight into how much and which part of the server park is utilized, ensuring that both CAPEX and OPEX can be optimized through improved utilization of hardware, energy, and labor costs. StructureWare Operations gets live data from the physical infrastructure devices supporting the IT equipment. This is used for a number of calculations. What we show here is a 3D cooling airflow calculations. It is also used to provide a high-level overview of the power draw, in this case, for example, per rack 
And even for the UPS, it shows how the load is balanced across the phases. With the integration into the Cisco UCS Manager, it also displays a CPU utilization over time and the average power consumption per server to identify which servers are productive. Impact Analysis The dynamic and agile data center drives the need for instant impact analysis, showing what equipment and applications are at risk if a piece of equipment fails further up the chain, and what consequences it will have for the availability of the data center and the service level agreements in place. Data center managers need to ensure business continuity, preferably with no manual interference, in order to reduce mean time to repair. In case of an event in the data center, like here where we have a failure on a cooling unit, the user can analyze the issue. Here we can see it creates a hotspot around the failing cooling unit. One of the racks has a raised inlet temperature of 27 degrees Celsius in this case. We can further analyze the cooling by going into the 3D view and see what the temperatures are per rack. For every part of the data center, we can clearly see what the calculated temperature is and where we have hotspots. When we zoom in on the failing cooling unit, we can also analyze the airflow around that cooling unit, and in this case we can see that we have a recirculation issue. We are having hot air going above the row and being sucked into the rack again. In order for the user to analyze the impact on the IT operations, he performs an impact simulation which brings up a list of the impacted equipment. He can even see all the way down to a blade server level with equipment is impacted. He can also use this tool to analyze which business processes and virtual machines and virtual machine clusters that are possibly impacted by this particular cooling failure. To summarize, we had a look at automatic power capping and capacity utilization, auto discovery and inventory management, real-time data and CPU monitoring, and impact analysis. The solution builds on Schneider Electric's popular StructureWare Operation Suite. StructureWare Operations enables vendor agnostic inventory management with real time device failures and data shown within your data center physical layout, as well as recommendations on how to resolve these issues. A location based drill down view provides a structured overview of data center locations from a global to a local view down to single assets. Capacity planning and forecasting are made easy through in depth understanding of all aspects of space, power, cooling, and networking resources. The Power Usage Effectiveness, or PUE calculator, supplies information on daily utilization of energy. Work and change orders are simple using the StructureWare mobile and Visor smartphone apps. StructureWare Central is the preferred vendor neutral monitoring platform for real time data from the data center environment.